Yo, yo, yo guys, welcome back to Milk Nation's channel. Today I've got another uh, Bluetooth headset unboxing uh, sent to me by the kind guys at Easy SMX. This is called the Easy SMX Veggie G. So it's great for a vegetarian because it comes in this nice eco-friendly brown box. So we're just going to give this a uh, quick review, open it up and see what we've got. Alright guys, so you can get this from Amazon for about £19.99 for the black version, this is the black version and you can get it for £20.99 for the white version. Um, it's got Bluetooth 5.0, um, you get it in um, a nice, uh, you know, kind of plain, uh, simple box like that which comes, um, you know, shrink wrap. So I'm just going to uh, open up this uh, corner here, uh, let's crack this open. All right, so there you go. So sim very simple box. It's got kind of a gloss uh, embossed kind of accent there to the uh, graphics work. Okay, uh, as it says there, it says Bluetooth 4.0. On the back, you've got some um, specifications. So you've got, uh, you know, 15 hours worth of continuous uh, music playback time, which is pretty decent, uh, being Bluetooth 4.0. You've also got a microphone in this, so you can use it with your smartphone. Being Bluetooth, you can use it with um, the new iPhone 7 because it hasn't got uh, a microphone jack. Um, Headphone jack, sorry, and uh, it's got a standby time of 400 hours and a charging time of 3 hours, and the weight is uh, 235 uh, grams. So, you know, quite lightweight. It's, it'd probably uh, be good if you're using it at the uh, gym or going for a run or something like that. So, I'm just going to crack this open here. Okay, so inside the box, um, you, it's very simple. You know, um, you've got a little uh, glossy uh, insert there. Um, and that's where the, that cradles the um, headphones. So they already look quite nice to be honest. So I'm just going to pull these out there, leave them on the side here, see what else we've got, uh, if, if anything. Okay, so when we take the back cover, uh, the back insert off, we've got a, what's that now? So it's a USB to micro USB charging cable. Um, and you also got a 3.5 mil jack to 3.5 mil jack uh, cable there. So if you don't have Bluetooth, you can still use the headphones, um, or you just prefer using uh, you know the jack, then you can use that. Um, so that's good to have as well. And you have a uh, instructional guide as well. So let me just bring this closer here. See if I can get that to focus. Yep, there we go. So this is the instructional guide. You've got one in like Chinese. Then on the back, you've got um, uh, thank you. Oh, this is your warranty card. So you've got a warranty card in English as well. And then on here, you've got your operation manual. Thanks for using uh, choosing the Bluetooth stereo headphones from Easy SMX Veggie G. And basically a quick setup guide. Um, now this also has NFC as well. So if your phone has got NFC, you can do a quick setup, you know, just by tapping it. So I'm going to be testing out that. Um, and this gives you some basic information there. Um, you know that you can always uh, read through if you want to pause the video. Now these are the headphones themselves, um, so they are quite nice, um, uh, they do have a, uh, if you just fold them out like that, very simple, they've got a nice matte rubbery finish, um, which is pretty cool, um, so the rubbery finish, um, you've got some buttons on the side here, so this is uh, pause and play, skip track and uh, the phone button, so I'm guessing that's answer phone call or uh, end phone call. Um, on the bottom there you've got your 3.5mm jack, little cut out there, so I'm guessing that's for your microphone. Um, got the Veggie G brand in there as well. Um, what else have we got? Um, just look for the charge port, so here we have a little volume rocker as well, so you got volume up and down, and um, this isn't like a, a a disc that you spin, you just kind of flick it down or flick it up to change the volume. On the side there we also have the micro USB, we've got a little LED indicator there as well, so the micro USB will be there to charge it. Um, on the uh, inside there you can see that it says left and it says right as well, If you, so you know uh, which uh, ear cup goes where. And um, you've got a little bit of a wiggle there, you know, to adjust to the shape of your head. Um, you have got um, four places where it can actually fold. Uh, no, two places, sorry. So you've got um, a fold in there like that, and you can fold it in like that. You don't get a carry case with it, with it which would have been a nice little touch, but, you know, at 19.99 you can't really complain. Um, you've got a nice uh, chrome accent here as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, on here, you've got 
uh, what's called protein leather ear cups so they are quite um, got a nice firm you know feel to them and they don't feel like you know they're gonna wear out anytime soon which is good inside there we've got little uh, spongy material um, you know pretty basic stuff really um, but to be honest for the price they do feel quite nice um, they don't rattle too much I mean that's from that you know moving so if you kind of hold that you know, it's not rattling too much, so it doesn't feel like they're going to break. They're quite similar uh, in terms of build quality to the Sun Vision Psych, which I've tried before. You got a little rubber pad here at the bot at the uh, at your headband here as well. So it is, uh, it's not fabric. It is actually like a soft, rubbery material which you can actually press in like that. So yeah, pretty decent. So I'm just going to um, uh, sync this up, uh, give it a bit of a charge, sync it up, and um, I'll give you a microphone sample as well as a quick audio sample. Okay, so I just thought I'll show you the uh, pairing process first. Um, if you have a look on the side there, you can actually see the um, the top uh, but uh, one second. Let me get this focus. You can see the top button, um, this which is the shape of the uh, microphone, uh, the what's it called now? It's like a telephone. And then if you press and hold that, it'll actually turn on. So I'm just going to press and hold this. There you go, and then you can see that the um, the LED button on the bottom there, you know, is flashing blue. Um, now, if I get my phone, I'm just going to test out the NFC thing first. Um, so, if to pair it with the NFC, you have to tap the phone on this side, which is meant to be the NFC area. So, let's try that. If it works. Oh, look at that pair Bluetooth device. Yeah pairing so obviously you do have to have a Bluetooth uh, an NFC enabled phone for this to work and then now if I go here so it's paired I should be able to see it here somewhere it's called V8800 or something like that Nope, can't get that to work, so I'm just going to try the traditional uh, pairing mode. Let's try this. So just press and hold the um, uh, the pairing button. Alright, so it should be in searching mode now. So if I have a look for it here, um, it should come up. In available devices. So as you can see, it's flashing blue and red. See if I can find it. Scan, scan in. Oh, there we go. So V eight zero N. All right, so I'm connected to it now. So there we go. All right, okay. Um, now I'm just going to uh, play some music. You can kind of get an idea of what the thing sounds like. So here we. go go we've got music uh what have we got here I'll try some uh, standard dubstep okay uh, i don't know what to play now if you have suggestions let's try it's chasing stairs i'm gonna crack this up to loud as we can go So it does beat once you least reach max um, audio. I'm just going to bring it closer to the microphone on the camera so you can get a better idea. And I'm just going to pause the video, put it on my head so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Alright, so I've got the headphones on my head now. These run at max volume, so if you can hear it in the video, then you know you've got some uh, sound leakage there. Um, to be honest, it, the whole ear cup does actually cut my whole ear, which is good. Um, when it's on, I've got it at max volume. It is absolutely booming. I can't hear anything outside. I can't hear my PC fans. I can't hear anything. Um, so it is loud. Um, the bass is decent. Um, it's not massively boomy. Um, but the sound quality and the treble is still there to be honest. so I'm quite impressed with that. 
because normally with like cheaper headphones you can get um, really boomy bass but the treble is really muddy. Um, when I turn the volume down a bit more you can hear the bass overwhelms the treble a little bit but you know you can always play around with the settings of uh, EQ on your phone to kind of you know uh, change that a bit so I can move that down. So that's pretty decent. They are quite comfy. I've got a small head to it, so it's a smaller setting there. This is what it kind of looks like while it's on you. It doesn't feel too loose, it's quite tight. Um, it, being a, the, the leather rear cups are a little smooth, so maybe it might fall off your head if you're jumping around, but to be honest, I think you could comfortably go running with it anyway. Uh, so I'm just going to do a quick microphone test so you can see what it sounds like. Okay, so this is actually me recording using the Bluetooth mic that's built into the headphones. So you can get an idea of what the sound quality would be like when I'm actually, um, you know, on the phone or, you know, using it to call someone. Now, I'm just going to try calling my girlfriend and see if it works um, like that. So I've got, this, I've got this new Google Duo app. It's really cool. If you haven't got it, download it. It's, it's kind of like FaceTime, but for Android. So I can actually hear... Um, the audio as well as the microphone here. So this is my girlfriend here. Um, she's on video. Can you hear me? C can you hear me? She can't hear me. So let me try this. Can you hear me now? Thumbs up if you can hear me. Can you hear me now? Can't hear me. So it looks like you can't use the headphones with Google Duo. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's cool. Uh, thanks for watching my unboxing. Uh, let us know um, what you think. I just hung up on my girlfriend. She's probably thinking what's going on. Uh, let us know what you think of it. If the order's slightly changed, it's because the Bluetooth cut off. So you kind of yeah, yeah you, you know what to expect. But thanks for watching my unboxing and review. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah. See you next time.